Hello guys, JNM here with a new Blender 2.8 video and this one is about using drivers to animate a rigged hand. I have this low poly rigged hand here in Blender 2.8 and four kind of knobs that you can move up and down and by doing this you animate the fingers. In this tutorial I will show you how to set up this by using copy rotation constraints for the bones and drivers. Ok, so let's jump right into a new Blender project, where I set up the armature for one finger. First I add an armature, by pressing Shift and A, then I go to Edit Mode, select the tail of the bone and then I press G to move it. You can also extrude other bones by pressing the E key. And in the end you have three connected bones for your finger. Ok, once I'm happy with the location and the size of the bones, I go to pose mode by pressing the tab key. In this mode I select then the second and the last bone. And then I press Ctrl, Shift and C and choose copy rotation to add a copy rotation constraint. Then I go to the bone constraint tab. And here I set the space from world space to local space. Ok, and after you did this you can go ahead and select the second bone, press R to rotate it. And then you can see that the last bone is rotated as well. I have the view snapped so we are rotating around the X axis. Alright, and now I'll do the same thing for the first and the second bone, Ctrl, Shift and C, add the constraint and set the space to local. And with this setup you are able to rotate the last bone and the other two bones will follow. Ok, that's pretty cool, but you always have to select the last bone and do a rotation around the X axis. Perhaps press R followed by X to constrain the rotation axis and that's not very convenient. So I decided to add a controller to control this finger rotation. And as a controller you can use a regular mesh. I add a sphere to have a kind of knob that I can move. I scale this down a bit in edit mode, press S and move the mouse and then I press G and Z to move it upwards along the Z axis. Alright, then I switch to face selection and select these faces here. Then I press the E key and extrude these faces. It is not necessary that you do this, I use this as a kind of visual indicator that this controller belongs to the finger. Ok, the next step is to add the driver for the X rotation of the first bone. I go to pose mode, then to the item transform panel and for the X rotation I right click and choose add driver. Then this panel appears and for the type I choose averaged value. Then we have to define which object and which type of transform is driving the X rotation of the bone. For the object I use the sphere, for the type the set location and the space are set to local. Ok, what does it mean? It means when I change the set location of the sphere object, this value will be used for the X rotation of the first bone. It's a quaternion, not an angle, so we can use a position between 1 and 0 or even the scale of an object if you like. So here you can see it in action, it works pretty nice. I know this is just one finger, but it was pretty easy to copy this for a rigged hand. So guys, I hope you like this short tutorial about rotation constraints, bones and drivers. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned, if you have any questions, add these to the comments and I will try to answer these as best as I can. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I see you on JNM.